Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your weekly messages. Okay, so um, the oracle card that came out for you, we're going to start with the oracle, is the trick or treat, which is the mischief and play card. Okay, someone was, I feel like someone was out there being promiscuous, being a player out there, you know, playing around. The reason why I say that is because we have the Hierophant card reversed. This is talking about uh, someone who's in a committed relationship who has been some some type of che cheating, infidelity, broken vows, someone who's not able to stay in a committed relationship because they're constantly out there. Um, and I feel like that's been, in your mind, you knew what was going on. You felt that something was happening because we have the crown chakra here. And this is really like getting in tune with your higher self, your spirituality. This is like really being connected to the divine. The You get messages, okay? It's, it's kind of like you're very highly intuitive. You get certain messages, especially when you're in deep thinking mode and you knew and felt something was going on and I feel like it was something that you had to there's a decision that you had to make because of that um, we do have the five of knives here reversed so there's someone or or this could have been you being you know and cheating and stuff like that it, it could be vice versa okay take it as it resonates this the, with the five of knives reversed it could represent that you're just tired of, of all the play and everything, of all this bullshit. You just want to rest. You just want to be positive. You want to think positive. You don't want to think the worst or the negative because that could fuck with you mentally because we have the nine of the nine of knives, which is the nine of swords here. So it could really get you stuck and trapped in your mind where you're always constantly thinking about, you know, the worst case scenario and you, you want to let that go. Um, and it, it, there's a decision you have to make and it's like been eating you alive. And the reason why I say that is because we have the, the Choose Wisely card that came out here, okay? You don't know which dir direction to take based on the situation that you're in, okay? So whatever it is that you choose, make sure that you stand your ground, okay? We do have the Stand Your Ground card. You defend your beliefs, defend your decisions, whatever it is that you have to do, but stand your ground. Set your standards, okay? Um... It's all about the decisions you make, your choices. It, it's it's all you, not what anybody else says. So remember that. Um, we do have the three of scepters here. So I feel like there's something that you're waiting on. Okay, with the ship here, there's something that you're waiting on um, that's going to help you move forward. And if this requires some type of traveling, um, you could be either deciding to divorce, leave a, a marriage, leave a commitment, um, leave uh, it just it depends on what you choose you don't even have to be leaving it's just whatever it is that you're choosing is telling you to choose wisely look at every possible scenario um an outcome before making that decision and especially if it's because there's the higher front reverse it doesn't even have to be with the lover it could be something that you were really really committed to that you're no longer wanting to commit to that anymore um, because you are is stressing you out and you want something better, you want something new, and there could be something new coming in, and that's what's going to get you to stand your ground and choose wisely. So, um, yeah, so this upcoming week, it's all about you making those wise choices, okay? But remember to always stand your ground when it, when it comes to this. You can connect to the divine to help you decide. That's always a good choice um, in your own way. So with that being said, um, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video.